Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here uh, with a product opening uh, or box opening. Uh, we're doing a, uh, a video here on the series on Maritron's digital switching. In case you haven't seen the other videos, there's uh, two other videos related to this product. There's Maritron uh, here, their 12 channel uh, DC loan module, which is essential. And then as well, you would also have this uh, remote uh, digital switching. Now, if you have both of these products on your boat and you're sort of saying, well, Jeff, maybe it would make sense for me to have the ability of bypassing this in case I ever have a problem, right? In case something ever happens, I want to be able to turn on or energize a bilge pump or a nav light or a water pump or a wiper, a circuit that really you can't live without. So you're looking for backups. Well, the backup is here and this is what we're going to be unboxing. Okay. So we have this DC bypass module. Uh, it also is rated for 75 amps max rating. It also does uh, basically 12 uh, switch positions, which is great. Um, it has, it's protected with ATC blade fuses, which is sort of like um, automotive fuses. Perfect. Um, and it basically offers on and off control of these circuits. So, what do you see inside this box? Okay, a little bit of protective, obviously. This is uh, electronics, so they care. So let me find the way to open this. Um, now, this bypass module does not it'll give you the ability of dimming, okay? So if you've got a light circuit and you wanna have it sort of be dimmed and you wanna control the intensity of the light and the dimming, you're not gonna be able to do this with uh, this module. This is strictly an on off module. It does not give you the ability of um, dimming the circuit. All right, there you go. Take that off as well. And I'm gonna open this, find out what this is all about. Okay, uh, the butt jumper. All right, excellent. And then all the different fuses, ATO, ATC fuses, right? So there's 215 amp, 610 amp, and 45 amps. By the way, you can find these sort of fuses. They're commonly used in autom automobiles. Most marine channelries should have these fuses. If you don't have these fuses on board your boat, as spares, you probably have these fuses everywhere on your boat, most likely. So it's always a good idea. And I certainly on my own boat, I have actually a little box where I have, you know, 10, 15 of each of the fuses that are possible. So if ever something does happen, I go to my little magic box and problem is solved. All right. Okay. So look at this module. Uh, let me close the box a little bit and show you a nice little shot right here uh, on what the control and the ability that you have to control all these circuits. So as you can tell, um, you're gonna have the ability of turning different circuits on or off with these switches. And what you've gotta do, which is important, because turning a switch on and off does not mean that it's properly protected. That just gives you control to turn it on or off. So every single one of the circuits that are gonna be energized by a parallel path, right? This little bypass module is gonna have to have its proper switch. Notice here, which is kind of neat, um, they've got a little sort of holder to actually be able to pick up these fuses, which is great. Um, so the other thing too that this module have, and I wanna bring that up, is that they actually, there's no arcing that occurs while manually overloading a circuit, which is really good. Right, so that's great. It's got a nice protective cover because this should only be used in case of an emergency. And um, again, you've got a little sort of um, power post right here. And this is probably gonna be a little jumper that you can use to connect to this module right there. Again, giving you the ability to bypass whatever happened here can be controlled on here. You wouldn't do this on every circuit. There's circuits on our boats that we can live without, right? You don't have to have a redundant solution for everything. You know, there might be a light on your boat somewhere that, you know, really, if you don't have it, you can live without it. 
So it's not about having redundancy on your boat for everything. It's about choosing which circuits are going to be like, well, that's a circuit that I can't really live without. And those circuits are going to be done on this bypass module right here. Okay, so that's smart. And it's a good way for all of us, especially as we're thinking about deploying this. This is a fail safe, right? Gives us a little bit of control and it allows us to not worry as much, which is great. Okay, and that is Maritron's 12 channel DC bypass module. Make sure to see the other two videos um, or box openings on the remote switching and also um, on this 12 channel DC load module. So make sure to see both because you actually, you need as a minimum these two. And the one that we're doing right now, the bypass load module is an add-on, okay? Again, thanks for your time. And I hope you're geeking out with me as we check out all these cool marine products. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.